The current presentation is related to the topic cream separation in the dairy industry. In this presentation, we will be knowing each and every part functions, how they will be working in the separator and there is a particular sequence in which all the parts need to be assembled. So, we will be seeing how each and every part has to be assembled before starting of a cream separation process in a centrifugal cream separator. This slide shows the principle under which a centrifugal cream separator works. We all know that skim milk is heavier having a density of 1.036 whereas milk fat is having lower specific gravity of just 0.93. Hence, whenever centrifugal force is applied to the milk in a centrifugal cream separator, when it is revolving at around 4000 to 7000 rpm, that is revolutions per minute, the heavier phase, that is the skim milk, will be thrown towards the periphery of the separator bowl and will be coming out through a separate opening called the skim milk spout. Whereas the lighter portion that is the cream comprising of only the fat globules and little serum will be passing through a different passage towards the center of the axis of rotation and will be coming out through a cream spout. This is how a same milk comprising of both the fat and the serum phase can be separated to obtain cream of any desired fat content. Even there is provision of either a cream screw or a skim milk screw or a back pressure valve on the skim milk or the cream outlets in order to regulate the fat content of the cream coming out from the cream separator. This slide shows the different types of cream separators available in the dairy industry. The old conventional type included the open design separator. The disadvantage of this open design separator is that there are some openings to the air through which air can gain entry into the cream separator during separation, decreasing the separation efficiency or increasing the fat losses in the skim milk. Hence, with recent developments, they have tried to use seals at the any outlet present in the cream separator and the development of a semi enclosed separator came into being which tried to decrease the amount of air entry into the milk during separation increasing the skimming efficiency. Still a better version is a hermetic cream separator which is known as an air tight separator wherein the feed of the initial milk to be separated is from the bottom up so that slowly it comes to the acceleration of the bowl to the speed of the bowl and because of which the skimming efficiency obtained is very high. In case of hermetic cream separator seals are provided at both the inlet of the milk as well as outlet of the cream as well as the outlet of the skim milk preventing entry of air in any case thereby improving the efficiency of the skimming efficiency. The next came a self desludging cream separator. In this, the principle is based on the timing which a particular dairy plant personnel has adjusted in the control panel of the cream separator. After every fixed interval of time, the sludge removal will take place for fraction of a second and it will continue its separation without interrupting the operation of the cream separator. We all know that the deposition of the sludge towards the periphery of the bowl decreases the passage for the skim milk to come out, decreasing the skimming efficiency of the skim milk which is coming out from the cream separator. Hence, self desludging cream separator has come into vogue which will be automatically desludging the sludge at a given predetermined interval maintaining 
the skimming efficiency of the cream separator throughout its operation. Next comes as a tripurpose separator. As the name says, tri, that means it performs three functions, namely, number one, clarification of milk to remove the dust, dirt, bacteria. Number two, the separation, that is the milk is to be separated into cream and skim milk. And the third function is standardization of the fat. But mind it, here standardization would be only for one component alone, that is only fat. The SNF cannot be simultaneously standardized. So that means this tripurpose separator can be used to clarify the milk, to separate the milk into cream and skim milk, as well as to go for standardization of the fat in the resultant milk. Final one is written in this slide is the cold milk separator. This is especially used in preparation of fat rich dairy products like whipping cream, where separation of the milk into cream and skim milk at low temperature, such as 7 to 10 degrees centigrade, helps in salvaging the phospholipid which is naturally contained and remains with the fat globules in the milk. Whenever we separate such cream, the concentration of phospholipid in the cream would be enhanced or will be increased, thereby improving the whipping properties of such cream. Hence, under such circumstances, we may use the feed at a temperature of 7 to 10 degrees centigrade of the milk, feed it through the cold milk separator and obtain the cream which is very much useful for whipping since the whipping ability of such cream is enhanced. The slide which you are able to see is a cross section of a semi hermetic cream separator. As you can see from the top right, the feed that is the whole milk preheated at 45 to 47 degrees centigrade is being fed. And finally, through a milk distributor, the milk gains entry into the holes present in each of the slanting discs. You can see in the cross-sectional diagram, there are certain discs shown, which are at an angle of roughly around 60 degree angle. Holes, about three number of holes are present in each and every disc. Through this hole, the milk gains entry. And skim milk being the heavier portion will be thrown because of the centrifugal action, because of the rotation of the separator at say 4000 to 6000 rpm and it will go pass through the periphery and have a come out through an outlet which is referred to as a skim milk spout, which you can see on the very top left hand corner bottom that is the skim milk spout. The fat in the form of cream, which is of a lower specific gravity, that is 0.93 being lighter, will be forced towards the axis of rotation, that is towards the center. And you can see again in the top corner on the left hand side, you can see the arrow from which, from a cream spout, the cream is gaining exit and which we are collecting as cream. Similarly, at the bottom left hand side, you can see the sediment ejection port, which is present in any self desludging cream separator, through which at a fixed interval of time, as set by the dairy plant personnel, there will be desludging of the sludge formed in the sludge space at a fixed interval of time, maintaining the skimming efficiency of the cream separator throughout its run of the operation. Now let us see some salient features of a cream separator. There are many several number of discs. Now this number of discs will depend on the capacity of the cream separator. There are roughly more than 100 discs in a given cream separator. Each disc is made up of stainless steel and the cone angle is about 60 degree. It is important that while you are cleaning the cream separator parts, the disc should be handled in a manner wherein its angle is remaining maintained without any deformity. 
as we saw in the previous photograph cross section area there are three holes in each disc through which rather the separation of the cream and the skim milk that is the lighter and the heavier portion gets separated in a cream separator the number of discs is based on the capacity of the separator higher the capacity of the separator more should be the number of the discs pairing disc is one of the important component of a cream separator which is present in a semi open cream separator that helps in functioning as a centripetal pump wherein without using any additional pump you will be able to exit the cream and the skim milk to a plated exchanger without use of any secondary pump the speed of operation of any cream separator generally ranges between 4000 to 6000 rpm however this rpm would depend on the diameter of the disc bowl the proportion of cream is to skim milk when separating 100 kg of a whole milk would be roughly 15 kg of cream and 85 kg of skim milk where the fat content of the cream will be roughly around 40 to 45% fat we can manipulate the richness that is the fat content of the cream either we can make it low fat say 30 to 35 or you can increase it to 75 to 80% fat cream which is called as a rich or a plastic cream just by operating either the cream screw which were there in the conventional cream separators or in the latest versions of the cream separator we can vary the back pressure on the cream outlet again varying the richness of the cream these are some of the provisions which are already put in a cream separator for its efficient operation the diagram in front of you is showing the working principle of a self desludging cream separator as i had already discussed deposition of sludge in the sludge space of a cream separator decreases the skimming efficiency of the cream separator hence it is essential to remove the sludge and if we can do it automatically that is what is done in a self desludging separator it will be of a great benefit that we don't have to stop the operation at the same time we are able to remove the sludge intermittently based on the settings we do in the control panel if you see the three pictures of the cream separator the triangle one shows you the disc bowl the entire bowl assembly at the bottom of which you can see on the left hand side a valve is there which is in a closed position that means whatever water is present inside in the inner portion of the valve creates a hydraulic pressure because of which the bowl bottom is always in contact with the upper bowl without having any opening of the slots which you can see as shown as dots or arrows on both sides as slots so at this position no ejection of the sludge will take place in the next part of the diagram that is the b part if you see the valve has already opened based on the control panel which we had set in the control panel of the cream separator naturally the water will be going away from this particular valve when it is opened the hydraulic pressure decreases the spring action will bring the bowl bottom towards the bottom and there will be a slot created for fraction of a second during which the sludge which is there will be automatically ejected which you can see in the third part of the diagram that is part c the sludge is already coming out now as soon as within seconds when the sludge has come out the valve will automatically get stopped from the bottom the water will be gaining entry because the water pump will be starting hydraulic pressure will be building up again lifting up the bowl bottom it will close the slots and the cream separation continues at as it was under operation when we started the same this allows
continued operation of a self desludging cream separator without enabling it to be stopped just to go for cleaning or removal of the sludge this slide tells about the factors that affect skimming efficiency some of the factors which has an impact on the skimming efficiency of a cream separator include number 1 the temperature of the milk during separation at the time of separation all of the milk fat has to be present in a liquid state hence a temperature of above 40 degree up to 55 degree centigrade will be highly desirable the only exception is the cold milk separator where deliberately we use a milk which is fed at a temperature between 7 to 10 degree centigrade second factor is the bowl speed higher the bowl speed better would be the skimming efficiency however for a given cream separator we do not have any provision to change the bowl speed however it is very important to remember that at the start of the cream separator let the final speed reach before we start feeding in the milk this affects finally the skimming efficiency the third factor is the space between the discs as such whenever we assemble the discs and put a bowl nut at the top it is very clearly depicted in the bowl nut to what degree tightening should take place there are rivets present on each and every disc at the top in bottom disc there are rivets on both bottom part of the bottom disc and top part of the bottom disc this maintains the distance between two successive discs which is roughly about 0.2 mm next factor is the flow of milk obviously we have to allow the flow of the milk as per the rated capacity of the cream separator as recommended by the manufacturer however reducing the flow of the milk will help in more entrapment of the air reducing the skimming efficiency next factor is position of the cream or skim milk screw or the latest back pressure valves on the cream or the skim milk outlets supposing we have put a back pressure on the cream in that case obviously less amount of cream is going to come out as high fat cream some amount of the fat portion is trying to go with the skim milk increasing the fat loss in the skim milk decreasing the skimming efficiency next factor is the amount of slime higher the deposition of the quantum of slime in the slime sludge space lesser would be the skimming efficiency and vice versa next factor is the mechanical condition of the bowl such as the disc condition you have to take care while cleaning do you never use a metal or a wire brush which can give bruises on the stainless steel discs similarly the foundation of the cream separator has to be on a very tight foundation to avoid any vibration during its rotation next factor is the condition of the milk before separation as minimal amount of air should be entrained in the milk and for that you have to see that no leaky joints are there in the pipelines for the milk which is being fed into the cream separator and the last factor affecting the skimming efficiency is presence of air in whole milk as we already discussed all the joints should be perfectly air tight if there is any leaky joint not only leakage will be there but some entrap air will be sucked in giving reduced skimming efficiency these are some of the factors we need to keep in mind while operating any cream separator so finally to sum up we have already gone through each and every part of a centrifugal cream separator and we saw what is its function how they look and the main part is how they should be assembled in a proper fashion so that the skimming efficiency which is very important during its operation is maintained at the desired level this presentation will give the student an idea in what fashion 
each and every part of a cream separator are to be assembled for its proper operation.